an online petition asking for an independent inquiry into forestry practices was presented to Gisborne District Council at its first meeting of the year today. The petition, titled Stop the Ongoing Environmental Disaster in Tairawhiti and containing more than 8,500 signatures, was presented on behalf of the people of Uawa and Te Tairawhiti. A peaceful protest was staged before the council meeting. Speakers made a powerful plea for the council to work with central government and the local community to find solutions to address the damage done by forestry slash to the beaches and waterways. It called for an inquiry to have a focus on activities contributing to erosion, sedimentation and woody debris deposits in waterways and the marine coastal environment. A Nara Bay resident, Hedda Nata Gibson, who started the petition, said this was not a blame game and that we are all responsible for letting the situation get so bad. It's a complex issue. Uh, we've got um, families who depend on forestry, uh, but we need, the, we need the practice to change. We need to be, uh, this is no short-term fix. There's no short-term fix or easy fix. Uh, but firstly, we want to... Um, we want support um, for an independent inquiry. She said she lamented the fact she would never see the pristine white sands and clear blue seas of Tolaga Bay again in her lifetime. You know, the next generation will likely never see it either. Uh, but uh, what we can do is, uh, is, is start, a, start, start us on a path um, for healing our land, um, healing, healing our place, um, and, and actually transitioning us into some industry beyond, uh, into work, uh, beyond farming and, um, and forestry. A PowerPoint presentation was given to the council and a packed gallery, making four recommendations. An independent inquiry, a rules review asking for council to review the consents, that council becomes a pilot region for Resource Management Act reform, and a just transition plan to ensure all land use in the region is truly sustainable from economic, social, cultural and environmental perspectives. Mayor Rehet Stoltz said the council was there to listen and acknowledge the emotional impact on the people which could not be quantified. An independent inquiry is also supported by Eastland Wood Council, Rongafakata Iwi Trust and Federated Farmers.